Hello there guys, welcome back to the Chelsea Man Football. I hope you are doing all right around the world. Subscribe if you are new to the Chelsea Man Football. Hit notification bell so we can reach 2000. Very close, very close. Thank you very much for that. I'm not done yet. I'm back again. <laughs> this is why I love the transfer because the transfer they give you something to do. They give you extraordinary news. Now I was looking on tweets. I'm like, what's going on here? Brighton, they just lays up the place. They wanted 75 for Casido, right? And Chelsea, I think they were there to put a bid. Now they see that Chelsea can do that and they see how Chelsea have gone to uh, Fernandes and they want, a, they want to pay 120 Chelsea. They're just on the way of negotiation because Benfica want 120 for Enzo Fernandes. Here, yeah, they did 100. Benfica said, no, we want the full release 120. If you don't do that, then shut the door. Now, I think Brighton saw that because we don't want them to pay 75. It's too little. You guys, you just say 75, what are you doing? Brighton have placed a variation of 100 million on most Casido after Chelsea's latest attempt to ride the South Coast Club. Brighton set 100 price tag on Casido with the club owner Tony Brem refusing another sale after latest attempt to ride from Chelsea. I don't know what to say about that because Chelsea they have got lots of money and I see how these people doing that and this is what transfer is sometimes sometimes you get punished sometimes you are lucky it looks like they are punishing Chelsea because they know Chelsea really need a midfield they are desperate we are on the end of a transfer market so right now right now Chelsea they are busy for a midfield very busy that's why Brighton, they are playing mind games. 100 for Casido. Are you killing me? Are you killing me? <laughs> that is crazy. I don't know what's going to happen if Chelsea they're going to move out on that deal or they're just going to stay in. I don't know. 100 for Casido. 120 for Fernandez. That is unbelievable. And to tell you the truth, this Chelsea owner, they have money. They have nothing to lose. I think they will complain if they have been at Chelsea for maybe like 20 years or 20 years. They will complain. But right now, this is their first transfer spending. You know, they're just spending. They have a lot of money. So if they want to complete those deals for Casido 100 and uh, 120 for Enzo Fernandez, they'll do it if they want. If they want, we'll see if they're gonna continue negotiation um, on Enzo Fernandez and Mosi Casido. Let's see if they're gonna try to say, okay, guys, we, you said 75. Now, why are you putting up that price? 100 for Fernandez. Oh, sorry, for Casido. I didn't see that coming. What is that? <laughs> Treachery, too much, man. <laughs> Tell me what do you think about Brighton doing. 100 for Casido. Let me know that, guys. I need to know what do you think about that. Enzo Fernandez, I posted a video area. 100 for Enzo Fernandez, but a news came out again. Benfica, they want 120. They haven't closed the door for Fernandez to go. They haven't. They just want exactly 120 and then it's done. So let's see what's going to happen on that side. Now, Check this out. There's another news we need to talk about. Chelsea are currently not given the green right on Kanagaraga to leave. After what happened with Lukaku, they are not accepting loan deals. <laughs> I understand. I understand. You know, it looks like Inter scammed us for Lukaku. You know, they scammed us. And I understand what Chelsea, they are not willing for a long deals. They just willing maybe for permanent. Because that can come and bite you. <laughs> you see, Lukaku came to Chelsea for how much? 100. 100. That was crazy. Back then, Roman Abramovich was in charge. Remember? Peter Cech and all this stuff. So this new owner, they just came into these problems. They found on the table Lukaku problems. And they were like, what are we going to do with this? We don't know. Now, they know that these shenanigans, we don't want them. 
right? And Lukaku stays where he is. So Chelsea right now, they don't want long deals. They want if, so if a club comes in to buy a player, buy him permanently. Long deal, not good. Pay a lot of money for a player you, he's not even playing for your club. You're still paying him. So Chelsea, they don't want to spend those money. I understand. I fully understand. Lukaku started all this. He scammed us. And at the last minute, he went back to Inter. That's not right. That is not right. And remember, he's still a Chelsea player. <laughs> he's just unknown. And he doesn't want to come back to Chelsea. And I don't want him, I don't want him to come back. Let him stay where he is. <laughs> Let him stay where he is. Let's continue because we got some more updates came out just now. Check this out again. Chelsea are relaxed and not worried about FPP, they have people internally taking care of their financial situations. UEFA is not happy how Chelsea is handling the situation. I said this earlier in my video, if you didn't watch it, click on it after this video is done. They are not happy how Chelsea they are giving, up, they are giving uh, players long contract, seven year contract. <laughs> they want to cut that uh, thing. And Chelsea, they're like, okay, we're not worried about it. We can go in other way and figure out how to do it. <laughs> so they are not happy about that. Now they're making a loo. No, you cannot sign players for that much. Seven years is too much. Okay, we're going to cut this for two, five years. They made the rule just now because they don't like what Chelsea is doing. And other clubs around Chelsea, they're angry and complain to your F. Oh no, look at what this Chelsea is doing. Oh, why can't us, why can't us do the same thing? You know, they're not happy because we have much, much money. And I remember before we were sanctioned, a lot of people, they were saying, oh, Chelsea is done. Now the money is gone. Roman Ibrahimovic pack his bags and go. Now let's see where Chelsea is going to be. Now look where we are, buying players and we are getting there we are getting there and i'm so happy next season <laughs> next season i cannot wait this season is done fa cup carob cup we are out of those cups it's, it's crazy right to think chelsea they are out of that and there is fa cup on saturday everyone is playing but only chelsea is not playing for the first time to be empty like that it is crazy one of the names I heard for Chelsea, next goalkeeper is Laya from Brentford. Chelsea are still discussing this process and they are talking to Idu Mendy about a contact, contract, but still no agreement. Goalkeeper from Brighton, very natural goalkeeper, very good goalkeeper. If we can make that deal, I mentioned him about four videos ago. Chelsea, they have linked with him, but now finally they are talking about the contract situation and see where this takes us very good one natural goalkeeper good saver he does things very good he's a good footballer and i love to see him at stanford bridge make a competition between keeper and him mainly he may leave chelsea and i don't care about that i don't care he wants more money so let him live so we we'll buy a new goalkeeper this time, no shenanigans around. We are buying a lot of players. The project is too big. So if any one of those players complaining about the money, right now is not the time to do that. Right now, focusing on winning. Look at, at the table where we are. So work for your team right now. You get paid lots of money. Let's move on. I think Chelsea will be in the striker market next summer. Okay, Chelsea, they've been in the market of the striker next summer. That's where I'm confused, you know? I'm thinking, Nkuku, a lot of people, they have forgotten. <laughs> we have signed Christopher Nkuku. He's joining in two months or three months from now. You see, a striker, we have a good striker, Christopher Nkuku. What do we need another striker for? I don't think we need any striker. We have Nkuku, we have Detro Fofana, Abamian. Even Kai Havertz as a striker, I don't see him as a striker. So many strikers. <laughs> what are we doing there? That's why uh, Brighton, they have placed 100 for Casido because they see, ah, oh my God, this club, they have so much money. Look at how they are spending. Uh, you know what? We told them on 75 for Casido. Let's just put it on 100. 
They're gonna pay, you see, they want him, they're desperate in the midfield. Let's just put that, they'll pay, you see. That's why, we don't need a striker. <laughs> we have so much, but it looks like Chelsea, they're getting everyone they want. They're wiping out the ground, the transfer, all the people, they're gonna come to Chelsea. And that's why everybody's jealous. <laughs> jealousy <laughs> I remember Thomas Tuku was like everybody's jealous about Chelsea when Thomas Tuku was in charge <laughs> something happened and then he said that I remember let's continue Chelsea are prepared to do something in their final two days of a window if they don't land Inzo or Casido maybe a surprise name remember the career Chelsea are ready if we don't sign Casido or Enzo Fernandez in the final two days, so Zakaria we know is on loan from Juventus. So Chelsea are ready to be to do permanent for him so he can become a uh, full-time Chelsea player. So they are ready to do that. And a surprise midfield. Who is that? We don't know. We don't want to be in the pressure like we did. You remember? Chelsea, they were desperate at the last minutes. Now they just pick up the names. Oh, that. Oh, that. Oh, that. Oh, oh, that, that, that. We don't want that. We end up getting somebody we don't want. And we don't want to do that. So right now, right now, there's a time. Benfica, they are saying they haven't closed the door for Inzo Fernandez. They want that deal to, do, uh, to complete quickly so they can sign a replacement for Inzo Fernandez. So this time, Casido, this time, although Casido, the price went up, guys, as I said, we have money. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let rivals or other crap get angry, but let's do it. We have money. No more time wasting. <laughs> no more time. So that's my concern. In the final two days, we're going to be desperate, looking for a midfield if we don't do anything right now. We need to do it. Let's continue. If Joan Felix tells Madrid, I am happy at Chelsea, I am only going to Chelsea, then Madrid will know they have to find a way with Chelsea. Chelsea are pretty relaxed. Nowadays, people forget the player decides everything. That's true. That is very true. The player decides everything. If he decides it is, uh, he loves that Chelsea, he will stay at Chelsea. He will not go back at the end of the season. And then that's why Chelsea need to buy Felix. One game in came in, he impressed everybody. Felix was on fire that game. He was man of a match. Let's see if he's going to continue that form. Sometimes a player comes with fire like that and oh, we get excited. Oh, we have Eden Hazard back. One game is not enough. Let him in place four games or five games. This, that's when you say, okay, Felix to Chelsea, we need to sign him. But right now, it looks like he's happy. And it looks like that's exactly what Chelsea need right now. That level he is and Modric, mwah, sweet. That's what we want. That's what we want. Let me know down in the comment what do you think about all this discussion today guys i will see you very soon i did not expect to do this video but the news came out again i have to do it guys so i'll see you tomorrow morning for a brand new video have a lovely day wherever you are and god bless